Demand for autonomous vehicles that travel long distances will continue to rise in the coming years. Research models that include these vehicles will be necessary to help with traffic management. Researchers from the Texas Department of Transportation and the Center for Transportation Research aim to place all information related to passenger and freight-based travel into a user-friendly form accessible to TxDOT employees. Well, the need for this research arose due to the potential impacts of autonomous vehicles on long distance travel. Specifically, the researchers wanted to understand how these vehicles would affect passenger and freight travel in Texas. The researchers wanted to see if people might take longer trips by car instead of flying and how trucks might deliver goods more efficiently. What? Autonomous vehicles or self-driving vehicles are coming to Texas and the world, and you already see them here in Austin. You've seen them in Dallas and Houston. We have trucks driving between some of these big cities each day without somebody touching that wheel or, or hitting those brakes and, and gas pedals. And to anticipate the impact on traffic across the state, we really needed to update our models, and especially that statewide analysis model. The researchers built a computer model of the United States transportation system way out in the year 2040. And they were pretending that there were self-driving cars and trucks on the road. And they used data from surveys, government statistics, and traffic patterns to make their model as realistic as possible. And the key finding is that autonomous vehicles are predicted to increase what are called person miles for existing long-distance trips by about 35%. And truck uh, share is also expected to increase with about a 6% increase in what are called ton miles transported by truck. So it's really important that we foresee the future before we make transportation investments or big policy changes. The added travel, especially on the passenger side, is, is dramatic and will congest and, and probably gridlock much of the state's system without having road pricing. Now with the smart uh, technologies for communications and onboard dongles that retain all the information about how much the vehicle owes, we can really start to deploy those and start making the management of this vast system much better, which will be really ultimately much better for all of the travelers because it'll be a much more rational uh, delivery of transportation services. And these kinds of models allow us to see 10, 20, 30 years in the future when the fleet has really evolved to much more, let's say, electric vehicles and um, self-driving vehicles and shared fleets and self-driving buses, all these kinds of technologies. We know that they're coming. They're already here to some extent, and uh, we need to make better long-term investment and policy decisions now. This helps Texas prepare for the future of transportation by understanding how travel might change. TxDOT can plan for things like road maintenance, traffic flow, and even air quality. So this could mean smoother journeys and cleaner air for everyone. So having you know, really good authoritative research that puts a number to some of these things uh, really helps us remove some of that uncertainty and allows us to plan for the future now and execute more with more certainty pass on that value to uh, texans and for the public you know that could mean huge uh, benefits to travel time and safety and the value of their tax dollars for more information and to find the publication for this project please visit the TxDOT research library at the link shown below